So what we're going to do is we're going to have you imagine for a moment that I'm the face of a clock, all right? So if I'm the face of a clock and I'm pointing up like this, what's that pointing at? 12. 12. So if I've got it sitting about right here, what am I pointing at? Uh, 10. About 10, all right? So you're going to start out here at about 10 o'clock. You can see that I've got the casting plug about a foot or a foot and a half from the rod tip, okay? That's the best place to have it to sort of load the rod when we swing it back behind us and swing it forward. Um, that'll help you to load up the rod and that'll help whatever it is that you're casting out there to go further. So you're going to start out here at 10. You're going to swing the rod back past 12 to about 2 o'clock. Take your thumb on this hand that's at the back. Push that thumb button in firmly and hold it there. And as you swing forward and you pass 12 o'clock or straight over your head, I'm going to have you release with your thumb and come right back to 10 o'clock again. should look something like this. All right. Now, a couple of mistakes that you can make. Uh, if you let go of the thumb button a little too early, then the casting plug is going to have a lot of hang time and it's going to go up more than it goes out. It might look something like this. See how that worked? Okay. Um, another mistake that you can make is letting go of the thumb button a little bit too late. And if you do that, then what's what's going to happen is it's going to look like this. It'll dive down on the ground in front of you. Okay. We might see both of those mistakes today, but uh, after we're through practicing, we'll hope that uh, we get your timing down right.